hello everybody, welcome, my name is Ruby Dung, welcome to uh, today's episode. I hope you enjoyed the last episode, it was a bit more of a special, unique one, one to celebrate the 100th episode anniversary, oh, I'm going down apparently, of uh, 42, so I wanted to do something a little bit different for that, so I hope you guys did enjoy that. But, it's back to our normal schedule, in which case you can see I'm over here at the main base. In which case, I did a few things working around here that I do want to show you guys. Um, in which case, number one, I got the beacon set up for out here in the lake, meaning that we now have front coverage and uh, of the uh, basic ramp of this base and uh, part of that tree farm and part of the villager farm. So I still want to set up a few more, but we got that one set up, in which case... Um, if you look at my inventory here, I do plan on doing another beacon setup today, but I don't have a whole bunch of iron that I can just throw away because I use up three stacks per, meaning that I can probably do about two more beacons. Um, gathering iron is slow, slow work, but I also set up another thing, in which case um, is over here all the way down at the villager farm which case I have been letting it accumulate for a little bit of time, not that much, which case I ran on my beacon out here. I'm going to set one out all the way out here just for coverage of that, in which case you can see there's a few villagers out in the water. But uh, we have these stalls here for villagers I've been slowly filling. I've been uh, culling some of them, the ones that are really bad I've been getting rid of, um, in which case, uh, yeah, I just got books, probably not that good. Gold, this guy... He's been around for a little bit of time, been trading with him for a while. Uh, yeah, I'm stuck on Ender Eyes with him. Um, and what were you? You were cookies. Okay, so I was basically just saying what you had next. And bread. I'm probably kill you, but I want to trade that one emerald. In which case, uh, hopping down here, uh, there is a lot of villagers in the water. That is because this area of uh, stopper for the actual uh, waterfall has been just open to the world, so they've been slowly filtering out and falling into the sea. So there's a bunch of villagers just floating out in the water here, which is not a good thing. So what I decided to do is I put a stopper to this, uh, the villager will flow all the way down and fall into a cactus and die uh, whenever there is access villagers in the system, so that will just automatically call the villagers for me, instead of me draining villagers into the sea for eternity. So that is something that will hopefully not be occurring anymore. I think the villager just got put through the system. You can hear a baby villager flowing somewhere, which uh, should be winding up over here, or it's going to wind up hearing villager dying noises down here. <laughs> either way, uh, either way, now I want to begin suiting up, and I want to go all the way out to do myself a little bit of a wither fight. So I'm gonna grab some resources for that. Uh, put my bed down very quickly. Um, in which case, I actually have a different idea of how I want to do a wither fight. All right, I'm over here at the end of the 3x3 three three mine, which is basically where I was mining for a 3x3 three three and moved over to 1x1 one one in order to make better efficient use of my pickaxe. In which case, what I want to do, instead of running the full length of this tunnel, what I want to do instead, mine out these... Uh, six blocks here, put this down, and then run the opposite direction. I can't run away from it this way, but I will be able uh, to not waste uh, a 30 minutes of my life or whatever running down and another 30 running back. So I'm just going to do that, and then as it's powering up, and when it comes to me, I will just slowly hit it and hopefully not run into lava. In which case, I'm going to back up a little bit for when it blows up. And then hit it like that. It's being in an interesting area. Ooh. There we go. It's getting closer to me. Where is it? There we go. Smite is a really good enchantment for this. <laughs> and that's how you do it. Uh, in which case, I just want to put down that one torch and boom, nice and filled out. In which case, all I want to do is come around here, 
and fill that in. Now it's as good as normal. So, now all I have to do is just run all the way back. And now I can use that room for future wither fights, which I honestly might just do the rest in this episode because it was so nice and simple. Alright, I got the beacon. Now I just need to figure out where I want to put it. Uh, I already removed the bridge for this beacon because I don't need it anymore. I already have one other installed here. And there is a total of one, two, three, four, five, six locations that I can put it. So, in which case, uh, one can go all the way over here, which is going to be uh, right over in the desert, but this would only cover about half the tree farm, um, and also that half as well, so it would get a little bit of use, like I do use the tree farm quite often, however, um, it's only ever going to get used in that circumstance. Um, However, these two are probably less useful even after that, in which case, um, this one all the way out here would only cover the sugarcane farm, like half the sugarcane farm, while the one that would go all the way over here, in which case there might be, yeah, this is one, um, the one that would go all the way over here would only cover uh, basically this massive extension area in the actual villager solitude area. I can't even call the villager farm anywhere, anywhere anymore because that's the one that's over there. So these kind of two locations I think are just out. I will put them uh, ones here. However, I don't think I'll be prioritizing those, but there is the other ones, in which case, uh, there's another thing that I do want to do over there, uh, as we do today's episode, in which case, I just now noticed I need to fix this log, but I don't have my log on me. Whenever I get my logs, I need to come back up here and fix that. But, um, if I run all the way down this side of the map, there is three more locations, in which case, um, also aren't as useful, um, in which case there's one all the way down there that's basically going to be hitting the wheat farm and that little up area, in which case, uh, not as useful either. There's this one, which is going to cover my bedroom, and also, I guess, that portion of the base, which is an intersection area, so that would be really nice. Um, while there is on the very final point, uh, this would be covering what is the gold farm, the cow and sheep farm, and the villager farm. In which case, I think this is uh, an, also another really good location. Um, in which case, I'm either going to have it be this one, that one, or the one on the tree farm. But I want to narrow them down, opposed to just getting ones right out of the way. So I'm probably going to be doing the tree farm for this one. And then I'm going to try to get another beacon this episode and put that one over there. So that's going to be my hope, is to do that real quick here. Alright, so I have installed the other beacon right past the tree farm. So what I now need to do is, one, go through here and break all of this dirt very slowly, because I have to do it all by hand, so just one by one break this, but I'm not going to be doing all that on video. In which case, as you notice, I got some logs in my inventory. I'm going to go ahead and quickly repair not only that one thing that I showed off, uh, the basically missing log right over there, but there's a couple of missing logs around the base that I'm also going to be repairing around here, because there's one in particular that there's a lot of, so I'm going to go repair that while I'm also thinking about it, in which case, uh, it is, woo, spooky noise, uh, it is all the way down this direction, and I am going to go over, uh, the best way to show it would be going over here and drop it down. Um, the best thing for that is actually going over here and seeing um, that large column of water there is missing all of its pillars but one. And I didn't notice that for some reason. It's kind of important for those to be installed. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly install those. Uh, just right off uh, camera, so uh, about to input a lot of those, but I'm going to go and kill another wither after I go and do that. All right, time for another wither fight. Let's so let's see how this one will go, and boop, just like that, back far up, 
block with the sword, make sure not to get dealt any damage. And explosion. Now come here. Ooh. That was not what I wanted. <laughs> uh oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> Wither effect please. How long do I have this? Oh, I might die from this. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no! Uh, F3? <laughs> okay then! <laughs> that went extraordinarily poorly! Time to go retrieve my gear! Alright, I got a little bit of armor and mostly milk. My goal is going to be to try to drink as much of this as I run through there, drink as much as I can by the time I get to the other side, and retrieve my gear. If I don't, I'm gonna have to waste a bunch more iron making more buckets to basically Stalingrad this. So that's my hope of what I'm going to be doing here. So I just need to get to the very end of the tunnel, hope the wither doesn't break free, it, but it's a good chance it might. Um, I also need to make sure I don't fall in a hole, which is a good chance that could also happen. I'll know when I'm getting close when I hear the wither, well not hear the wither, when I see the wither bar. Um, in which case I know this is a little bit of a run. Hopefully I can make it to the end before I run out of food. Uh, there's the wither bar, so I'm getting close. Yep, here's the lava. So run through that bar here, that means there's going to be a wither on the other side of this thing. In which case, hello there! Hello! Oh, I'm gonna die! Yeah, I'm at half a heart! Hello! <laughs> oh boy, this is going to be fun. Yeah, okay, I need to bring blocks down as well. Okay, that took far more takes than I'm going to probably include in that video, but I finally did it. Um, in which case it is need to sort out all of my things now. Um, get my smite sword back, get my food on the hot bar. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I think I'm good to continue. In which case I need to go back over here and hopefully now I'm prepared to kill it. If not, then I'm going to lose it. Um, this is why I did it the other way for a very long time. I need to keep my distance because this guy is extremely dangerous, but luckily smite swords are really good. There we are. Oh my gosh, that took way more effort than it should have. Hoo-wee. Um, uh, torches. <laughs> Let's light this thing up and also build out the bridge so I can walk across this thing still. Uh, three, block, three, block... <laughs> Three. This is going to have to just suspend over the whole thing, because uh, that is just a problem now. Um, basically, just going to try to build this up as much as possible, so in the event that it occurs again, I'm not going to be as uh, hurt by it. Uh, but also, it should be better this time. Yes, there we go. Nice and spaced out. Um, so now i got that set up, because... If some of the more diligent of you will notice I have another two of those on me, so let's do it again! Oh man, let's make the same mistake twice. That's what, uh, we should all always be striving for. Am I wearing the right shoes right now? They're the exact same shoes, amazing. <laughs> um, in which case, get rid of that, and let's fight him again. Let's hope this goes better. <laughs> Oh, man. Did I even get the Wither Star? I did. Okay, sweet. Do your little explosion. Alright, I need to make sure not to get baited by him to go into that hole sooner than I should. Alright, luckily I got milk. And I got pumpkin pie. There we go. How much milk do I have on me? I have a single bucket. That's a problem. But luckily this should be enough to save me off for this one Wither fight. Oh, he is on a second phase. Get that done with. Come on. There we go. Um, yep, alright. And build out the bridge again. Even though it's going to get destroyed again. Uh, but this one's a lot less damage. Oh, place down a block incorrectly. Another three blocks. Another three. And... There we go. Like that. There we go. And one last fight. Nice and simple. I already have two on me, so we're risking it all. We're risking 
the big deal. Um, in which case I do want to get rid of that so it's easier for him to get to me. And boop, boop, and boop. And run away. Block up. Come on. Explode. There we go. Where'd he go? Oh boy. That's a problem. Uh, where is he going? Mr. Witter? There he comes. I don't know what he was aggroing on, but it wasn't me, which was a problem. That was very alarming. Hey, come on. Last little bit here. Ooh, that luckily didn't give me wither. Hey. There it is. Aha. Now I got three of them. Aha. What was he aggroing on? Can I find that? Is that a thing I can find? Nothing. Huh. That was weird. Why was he... I don't need to place that. Uh... But yeah, all right, I've gone through and I have installed a second beacon all the way down on this line, meaning that I now have coverage over the uh, gold farm, the intersection, the cow, uh, cow and sheep farm, and the villager trading post. So I am now good to remove this little bridge here. So I'm just going to be quickly getting rid of that and... While I am getting rid of it, I think this is a good point to call the episode. So I do hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Uh, if you have anything you want to see me work on here in the future, I always love hearing projects that you guys come up with and any ideas that you guys may have for me to do in this series. Um, I do hope you also enjoyed the last one. It was a bit more of a specialized episode, so... Once again, uh, just returning back to what I normally do with this one. Uh, but I need to quickly get rid of this bridge as well. But either way, guys, that's probably going to be doing it for today's episode. So I do hope you enjoy it. Well, I should probably get a further out view of the... No, nah, I think it's fine. Either way, guys, I think it's going to be doing it for today's episode. I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, song. Uh, see ya. Um, bye!